What's good everybody, welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Now I know the Ahuhu brush marker trend is long gone and out of the way because they came out like last year, but I finally got some and I'm finally ready to test them out and create some art with it. Now I've seen so many reviews on YouTube about how great they are and how good the qualities are in terms of being cheap markers because these are like the one cheap markers that I know of that have brush tips and they're kind of hard to find cheap markers with brush tips. So I found the Ahuhu markers and I want to see, I want to try them out for myself to see if they're as good as everyone says. So I got the 48 set of Ahuhu markers for $30 which retails for 62 cents for each marker which is kind of weird because I bought a skin tone set for just about the same price. I got $1.25 for each marker so I don't know what's up with that. So with just the 48 set of markers I was afraid I wasn't going to get enough skin tones to work with so that's why I bought a skin tone set because I don't want to end up making a character like in a yellowish orange color or orangey brown color because that's not what I do. I got the 48 set off of Amazon and first off before I go creating art I want to swatch them and see what colors I have to work with for a 48 set. So let's open these guys up and see what we got. So not a bad color selection for these Ahuhu markers although I wish there weren't so many mid-tones. What I mean by that is there are a lot of colors that have the same value which is going to be hard to get a lot of different shades in the drawing that I'm going to do because that's what I normally do with uh, markers. I try to get like a, a very dark shade. It's going to be hard to do that with just mid-tones. So I do wish there were a little bit more darker tones than that because all I have is black and that's it. There is a big selection of greens so if there is someone who likes to use a lot of greens and this 48 set is good for you but me personally I don't use a lot of green when I'm drawing characters or creating character illustrations. However, I do use it for drawing grass and trees and stuff like that. But in this illustration, I'm not gonna do that. But I may use green at some point. That's just my personal preference. I don't really like green a lot anyway. And the same thing with the skin tones. There's not a lot of dark tones. All there is is like one dark brown or like a couple. All there is is a couple dark browns and then a black. But there are a few like light peachy tones, like pale skin tones that I can work with. I do wish there were a lot of darker tones so I can actually add shading that isn't, that's not going to be too hard to see. Now let's really put these markers to the test and create a full color illustration and see if they're as good as everyone says. Before I get into talking about the markers, I want to spend as little time possible talking about the inspiration for the drawing, which I got from GTA San Andreas. It was at the beginning of the game where uh, this guy named Big Smoke, he buys almost every off the drive through menu. Everyone's looking at him like, can you eat all that? Like, dang. <laughs> Everyone's looking at him like, oh my goodness, you can eat. So that's, what, that's where the inspiration for this drawing came from. Okay, so now talking about the markers. For my original characters, the two in the front seats, so you can't really see a lot of the shading because earlier I mentioned that there weren't any dark tones for me to work with. So you're not going to see much shading. You'll just see like a couple areas where there is a little bit of shading, but um, a little bit of blending actually. But you won't see a lot of shading because all I have for shades for these skin tones are like black. At least that's what's... That's, According to this collection is darker than what I have here. Just to elaborate, there wasn't really a lot to work with in terms of doing like a dark skin tone, you know. So the reds I could do just fine. Like I said earlier, there weren't a lot of dark tones for me to work with. So I ended up using the red for a base color and then a darker tone to kind of like shade it. But I was, I was considering cheating by using a darker red for my Copic collection to make it a little bit darker. But I just know because this is the Ahuhu markers. We're trying to give them the spotlight. Like forget Copic for now. We're trying to like do the Ahuhu markers today. But yeah, getting back to the drawing, I ended up using most of my skin tone shades for the majority of the drawing because I wanted to have like the driver seats. That you see back here I wanted to have them tan but I didn't realize that until after I drew them in like a really dark brown so that's why in the end I used my uh, gel pen to kind of like lighten it up a little bit so it kind of like so it wouldn't be too dark in most areas in the front or in the back just to like enhance everything I just use my uh, gel pen to go over a few areas and then for the bags you see in the back I had to kind of improvise and use Sort of a yellow shade that I thought was a darker shade of this base color you see here. Um, and I had to do the same thing for this skin tone too. So the skin tone I use for a base color is like a regular skin tone. 
And then for sort of a mid shade, I try to use uh, another darker tone. But when I look at my swatch chart, it looks like it. But when I go on to blend it, then it looks sort of like a mustard yellow. So that's what I did for the skin and the bags in the back. But I really didn't like it because it, but I kind of did, kind of didn't like it because um, if I had some yellow in there, it kind of looked like it was tonal interest. That's not what I was originally going to go for, but it'd be nice to include it in there because it's kind of interesting to look at. And then for the seats, I used R28. Like I said earlier, I wanted them to be tan, but I didn't realize that until after I colored everything. So I used the chisel tip for that, and I wanted to see how well the chisel tip works. So I wanted an area where I can just like scribble in a whole layer of marker and see where that can get me. And then I also wanted to try black because this is a fairly dark brown, the R28. So I wanted to see what it would do in terms of blending with the black because that's literally the darkest color that I have in my collection is the black. So I wanted to see how it will like fair out and try to blend in with the black because I don't think you can get any darker than this in terms of the skin tone set because this is the darkest brown that I have that came in that set. And then now going on to the grays. So I had a cool gray four and a cool gray zero zero. There are a couple of white spots in there like the cups you see and then the little joint of dip in the back that you see so I wanted to kind of like I didn't want to leave it like plain white so I so I used the cool gray double zero to kind of like add a little bit of shading in there and this set also came with a colorless blender the 48 set so I wanted to kind of blend that in just to see hey I included some blending in there and then I also kind of messed up because I mentioned that I used the uh, chisel tip to color in the seats with a, like a dark brown, but I went outside the line. So I had to use a colorless blender to kind of like blend it out. And, by, and at that point, I couldn't really get rid of it that much because the colorless blender acts like an eraser for your markers. It got rid of the majority of it, but it's still there. You can probably see it in the uh, in the final piece. So what I wanted to do in the end, I wanted to color like the background blue because the majority of this uh, drawing without that background is gonna be like mostly brown. And then I wanted to kind of like add, I wanted to add like an adjacent color to the background just to kind of liven it up. Like other than the gel pen, I didn't have another way to do that. So just to like help it, help brighten up the piece a little bit. Brown is a shade of orange and the opposite of orange is blue. And then the opposite of dark is light. So I'm going to include a light blue. It makes sense. Anyway, that's the final drawing. Let me know what you thought of it. And this is the final result of me using the Ahuhu markers for the very first time actually. And I think I'm gonna include Ahuhu markers in my collection because they did better than expected for cheap markers because a lot of cheap markers, for one, they don't have brush tips and two, they don't really like blend well with other markers, you know? Also, let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of my uh, drawing for this week. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. And I'll see you in my next video. I